Hey, oh, hey, it's Amber, and it's the month of July, which is the month of me. <laughs> My birthday's in July. So, that means we've got some new releases to go over, so let's get started. All right, so first weekend of new releases for July is July 1st through the 4th, so it's a holiday weekend. And there's only two Y releases coming out that weekend, and that is Minions, The Rise of Gru, as well as Mr. Malcolm's List. Now since I think I've seen a few trailers for this new Minions movie in some of the movies I've seen recently, I'm going to start with Mr. Malcolm's List because I have no idea what that one's about, although I think my boy Theo James is in it, so let's take a look at that one. Oh, it's her. Some dog millionaire. I can never remember what her name is. <gasps> Gooseys. Baker Street. Oh, it's Mrs. Loki herself. What? It's got a very Bridgerton vibe to it, especially this past season that just ended. Mixed with like the first season of Bridgerton. Oh, there's Theo. I knew I thought I saw him on the poster or something. All right, kind of like what I was saying while watching that, that had a very Bridgerton type of vibe to it. In a sense, it kind of felt like the love story from this past season that just ended mixed kind of with the first season romance. For me, it's definitely a stream it at home. It's not something to go see in theaters for me, but I could see it being like a cute date night movie to go see at the theaters with your significant other. But to stream it for me. And again, the other Y release for this first weekend is Minions, The Rise of Gru. And I have, I think I have seen a trailer or two, but it looks like they had a third trailer come out. So we'll go ahead and watch that. I can't remember watching any of the other Minions movies, but I'm sure I've seen the first one at least. But let's give this one a watch. I think this is the one that I've seen. I mean, I could totally see why they make so much money. It totally plays into like silliness for kids and I'm sure there's a lot of like adult humor as well in it but I've just never been able to like want to actually sit down and watch them this is a good song though they're playing Beastie Boys Sabotage I know you planned it mini boss but I mean I'm sure it's pretty funny because Steve Carell is Gru so there's that this trailer's not really showing you what goes on in this one you just kind of have to go off the title it's the rise of Gru and they keep calling him Mini Boss, so he's a child in this one, so it's a prequel. But like, but yeah, again, silliness, kid will love it. It's definitely a skip it for me. I think I would watch the others or try to watch the others before I go and watch that one. So that one is definitely a skip it for me, even though I'm pretty sure it's silly and fun for the whole family to enjoy. If you see either one of those two releases, let me know down in the comments what you think. All right, second week of July is July 8th through the 10th for new releases, and there's only one, which naturally so, because who would go up against it? And that release is Thor Love and Thunder. I've already seen all the trailers for this, so I'll just go ahead and put my review reaction to that trailer, but I'm super excited for this, mainly because of Christian Bale. I know everyone else is all about Natalie Portman, but oh my god, Christian Bale. Either way, you'll see what I'm talking about in my review trailer there. It's definitely a see it for me, and I'm pretty sure it's a see it for everyone else in the world. If you do get to see it, let me know what you think. All right, the third week of new releases in July is for July 15th through the 17th. There are three wide releases, and I don't think I've seen the trailers for any of them, which are Mrs. Harris Goes to Paris, which rhymes, Pause of Fury, The Legend of Hank, and Where the Crawdads Sing. I have been trying to stay away from Where the Crawdads Sing trailer, because I was going to try to read the book, because I think it's a book, but alas, here we are, so we might as well watch the trailers. Starting with Mrs. Harris Goes to Paris. I, I can't get over that that rhymes. Let's see what they have to offer. I also don't think there's anybody in this that I recognize. Oh, it's Focus. I love Focus. Oh, I know her. Oh. Oh, wait. Is that Malfoy's dad? Get it, girl. There you go. Oh, that's pretty. I think I know her, too. Oh. That was really cute. Being that it's focus feature, I'm kind of on the fence of see it, stream it. It's definitely a stream it, so I'll probably put it down for that, but it looks really cute. And there ended up being a bunch of um, side actors that I recognize, so that's fun. But yeah, it just, I don't know, there was some sort of charm to it that 
interest me enough to want to go see it so definitely a stream it for me possible see it but knowing me i'll probably end up streaming it what do you guys think Next up for the July 15th weekend is Pause of Fury, The Legend of Hank. I think I've seen this one, I can't really remember, but knowing me, I probably was like, eh, I don't want to go see it. So let's take another look. Okay. Using the Jurassic Park font, classic water, dinosaur noises, but it's a cat on a pig. Nickelodeon Studios. That's Samuel L. Jackson. Is that Toby Maguire? It's either Tom Holland or Toby. Not to be like Spider-Man. That sounds like Ricky Jarvis. Michael Sarah. Okay, so that's Michael Sarah. Okay, I was right about Ricky Jarvis. Samuel L. Jackson. Jeez Louise. All right, just like I predicted, doesn't really tell you much. Therefore, I'm not very interested in it. But it's probably cute for the kids and the family. So definitely think that it's a see it for the family goers because it's something to do with your kids. For me, it's a skip it. Maybe one day I'll stream it. But it's definitely a skip it for me. All right, and then the final release for the July 15th weekend is where the crawdads sing. I don't know anything about this one, but I'm super excited because it looks like some sort of like maybe murder mystery in the backwoods of some country, but let's see what it's actually about. <laughs> Marsh girl. Hmm. I think I know her. No. I think I know him too. Who? Oh. Oh, I love that guy. How they just let this little girl like live out there though? Social security or social services would have came after her as. Hmm. That one kind of has me on the fence because I'm interested but not interested enough going out to theaters to see it. So it's a definitely a stream it for me for that one. I don't, it just had that feeling that yes, it's a book because I think it said it, it's based off of a book and I feel like the book is probably going to be better than the movie because they're going to have more time to go into depth with stuff and I don't know, some of the, the feel of it didn't really click for me like there was something missing or it's not going to flow right so it's definitely a stream it for me I'm not saying skip it because I'm still kind of interested but I stream it so if you do get to see it, let me know down below what you think because you'll probably see it before I do <laughs> Alright, fourth week for July which is July 22nd through the 24th. There's really only just one Y release, but I'm gonna say two because the second one is kind of a special mention. <laughs> but the one theater release is the movie Nope, which is by Jordan Peele. And the second honorary mention is The Gray Man with my boy Ryan Gosling, which is gonna be released on July 22nd, I believe, on Netflix. I think I've seen all the Nope trailers, but let's go ahead and rewatch this final trailer. I think I have seen this one. <laughs> definitely, f I have seen this trailer, but it definitely feels different watching it the second time. So like I was saying during the trailer, which sorry I didn't really react much because I have seen that one. I remember when I saw this trailer in theaters, it was probably before Elvis, I don't remember when I saw that movie. It kind of took away a little bit of the excitement of going to see it because in the previous trailer, it doesn't really tell you what's going on. You kind of have room to like make up your own assumption of what it is but in this last trailer they're like it's it's aliens and the whole premise of it is them just trying to get the money shot of the alien so they could live forever i was kind of disappointed the first time i saw this trailer but watching it now there's definitely a different feel to it i still kind of want to go see it because knowing jordan peele even though he's kind of showing you all of his cards, there's bound to be like some epic like twist to it in the movie that he's not showing in the trailer. So that's kind of what's having me want to go see it in theater. So I'm putting it down as a see it. And if you see it before I do, let me know what you think. Now the honorable mention for this July 22nd release is The Gray Man, which stars my boy Ryan Gosling. Let's see what's got to happen. It's probably gonna be like a spy movie. Yep, sounds like, is that Bridgerton? Chris Evans, okay. Got a weird stash. Love me some Gosling though. The Russo brothers. Why do I know that? Oh, okay. Oh, this is super action packed. <laughs> Glad they're letting Ryan have his humor. That's Billy Bob Thornton. <laughs> that's hilarious. Oh, that's gonna be interesting with both of their like humor. Shit. So it's like Chris is the bad guy? I don't know if America's ready for that. It's been a minute since he played a bad guy, I think. Hmm. 
All right, so that movie is crazy action-packed, which normally for me kind of makes me shy away from it unless it has like a really good plot and whatnot. The only time I would go see it is if it's got some of my favorite people in it, which it's got Ryan Gosling in it and Chris Evans isn't someone to shy away from as well. Being that it's a Netflix movie, the only option is to stream it or skip it. So I'm just going to go ahead and put it down and stream it because again, it's got my boy Ryan Gosling in it. And even though it looks like it might go either way with being really good or too action packed or whatnot, I'm here for it because thinking about his kind of humor and Chris Evans kind of humor, and they'll probably play very well together. And they're both very well-trained action stars. So in that respect, it's going to be good. Can't wait to be able to check that one out. All right, the last weekend of July releases, which is July 29th through the 31st, has two wide releases. First one being DC League of Super Pets and the other one being the movie Vengeance. Now, I have seen a trailer for the DC Super Pets one. Totally in skip it mode for that, but we'll go ahead and watch that trailer again just to give it a once over. I forgot the rock was in this. Uh, that's Assault. Pretty sure Superman's dog wouldn't do that. Just saying. The fuck? Wait, who was the Batman dog? Wait, but who? I forgot who the dog is for um, Batman's dog. Like who the voice is. It's gonna bother me now. DC Super. John Krasinski is Superman. That's amazing. I will accept that. Keanu Reeves is Bruce Wayne. I like that. What is? What is the Batman's dog? Cause he has a dog, doesn't he? I didn't dream that. I don't remember who plays Batman's dog, but it's got a pretty big cast, that's for sure. I put that one down as stream it, cause it's not something I would run out to go see, even though I am kind of interested. Love Kevin Hart and obviously love Keanu Reeves and John Krasinski. So I could see me watching it on some slow night when I've caught up on other stuff. <laughs> caught up. But it definitely looks like something the whole family can enjoy together going out and seeing at the theater. So if you see it before I do, which you probably will, let me know how it is. All right, and this last one is called Vengeance, which the only thing I know about it is BJ Novak from The Office is in it. So let's see what it's all about. Oh, nice to get sure. Focus feature. Oh, and Bloomhouse. Oh my god, is he playing pretty much his character from The Office? Oh, and he wrote and directed this. Okay. What the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> what a burger. <laughs> what the fuck? All right, that movie was all over the place. I'm kind of on the fence of skip it or stream it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put it down as a stream it because I could see me watching it eventually, just not anytime soon, because I am kind of interested. But the fact that it was all over the place kind of puts me off a little bit, which is why I'm kind of on the fence of skip it or stream it, but I'm gonna have it land at stream it for my personal preference. <laughs> all right, so since we went over those five weeks of new releases in July, Let's go ahead and recap and review what I chose each of those releases to be either a skip it, a stream it, or a see it. Let's start with the skip it's. I picked two of those new releases that I felt were skip it's for me, and that would be Minions, The Rise of Gru, as well as Pause of Fury, The Legends of Hank. What are your skip it's? Let me know down in the comments. For the stream it's, I have six, which include Mr. Malcolm's List, Mrs. Harris Goes to Paris, where the product sing, The Gray Man, since you could only stream it, and DC League of Super Pets, as well as the movie Vengeance. What did you pick for stream it's for this month? Again, let me know down below. And finally, for the see it's, I picked two, which would be the remaining two if you remember all the new releases for this month, which are Thor, Love and Thunder, as well as Nope. So it definitely doesn't look like I have a lot of movies to run out to the movie theater to see this month. Let me know what you pick for your three categories. See it, stream it, skip it. And also if you see any of those, let me know what you think. Also just a reminder, if you like content like this, the best way to let me know is to like and subscribe to the channel as well as comment and talk to me down below because until next time, tell your mother I said hello. Bye.